I have to be creative. A, connect with the Holy Spirit. Connect with who? The Holy Spirit. In Psalm 104, verse 30, it said, Thou sendest forth thy spirit. They are what? Created. And that renews the face of the earth. So the Holy Spirit is the one behind creation. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, it said, but God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit said in all things, He had the deep things of God. So the Holy Spirit reveals things to you. So here, He makes you to be very creative. I pray this day, as I'm speaking right now, the creative power of the Holy Ghost work in your life in the name of Jesus. Yeah. If you want to be creative, consult who? Holy Spirit. B. Tax your brain with innovative thoughts. Tax your brain with what? Innovative thoughts. That is, stay like this and begin to rack your brain with innovative thoughts. In Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, hear what the verse says, Behold, I will do what? A new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall not know it even? I'll make a way the wilderness and rivers in where? The desert. He said, Without that mind, I will do nothing. Philemon chapter 1, verse 14. So, Tax your mind. Tax your mind for new things. Are you hearing me, brother? Tax this mind. Don't all, listen. If you want to know you don't want to come out of dullness, the first sign of first you want to come out of dullness is any time challenge come, you don't want to do it, challenge, handle it with your mind. So no, 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 this thing is too difficult. Leave it, leave it, leave it. People want to be creative. They, at that point, they stop. They begin to tax their mind. Anytime you dodge, you say, this, I don't want, I don't want. Know that you don't want to be what? Creative. When challenges come, creative people will sit down to tax their brain. How do I overcome this thing? I pray today you will not want to escape out of challenges in the name of Jesus. C. Periodic meditation. Periodic what? Periodic meditation. How to create periodic meditation? Once in a while, learn to meditate. In Psalm 16, verse 7, I will bless the Lord who had given me counsel. My reunions also instruct me in nine seasons. Don't use nine seasons only for phone call. Use it to do what? Meditate. There are people who never meditate. Some people have never meditated in their life. The whole nine seasons of their life is, is midnight call. Midnight call without calling heaven make you look like a man on that course. Use nine seasons to what? Meditate. He said, my, in, it is the night God will instruct your word to do. May the Holy Ghost instruct you what next to do in life. Amen. Shout aloud, amen. amen. Creative people, they utilize their ninth seasons. D, curiosity. Curiosity. Creative people are very curious. Anything that happens, they turn. They want to know why this thing is happening. You know, when the bush was burning, the Bible said, and Moses did what? Turn. Exodus 3, 2 to 3. Why the bush were not consumed? It was very clear. Why will bush be burning and not what? Consumed. He was so curious. Are you getting what I'm saying now? That was where Moses had an encounter. May you have your own encounter. He said, while Peter thought on this vision, on the vision, the Spirit said to him in Acts 10, 19, Behold, three men seek thee. So curious people are curious. When something is happening, they begin now. In science, it has been proved most of the scientific discoveries, they are true of curiosity. The apple fell, nobody would question. As the Greenlee said, why? The law of gravity. Why did this apple fall? Every other person just apple. Take, if it's here, they just carry apple and eat. Curious people, they ask questions. They ask what? And people who are very creative, they always want to find out why this thing is happening. It's right here. Don't just push it aside. It's from curiosity you get answers. Now, for instance, by curiosity, I know that there's a silent what? Protest. Through? And why are people protesting in Nigeria? They protest every day in Nigeria. It's not, it's not Labour Congress. Even you, you are protesting. You want to run away from here. Through? It's a silent what? The start is the most dangerous protest, dangerous than on the street. 
Every young person wants to japa. Why are they jackparing? By why are they what? <laughs> By curiosity. Why are young people all want to? Every young person wants to leave Nigeria. For instance, they want to leave and jack back to another country. So I began to wonder why. From curiosity. Now, let's, why you be curious? If you can never be creative except you're curious. What established Okuma was curiosity. It was from curiosity that Okuma started. I was so curious. I sounded like this. Let me tell you. If you're not curious, you will never, never make a mark. I said, why? Every, I noticed that every rich person, they don't send their children to mission schools. Even those who are in the churches. Even members of churches, of churches don't send their the rich. They send their children to secular schools that are big. You will never see any rich man send children to, I won't call the name of the schools. They don't send them there. The schools of missions, the rich people don't go there. It's the average people that send to. You will never hear a believer send children to church schools. So I said, by curious, I said, something must be wrong. And the church will send their children to church places, and something was wrong. So I, by curious, I said, okay, the reason is this. All church schools have very poor facilities. Their facilities are so poor that if a child goes to church school, <laughs> The toilet. If you can't bring a child from overseas to go to, the moment they enter to a child, they will run away because the toilet is nothing to write home about. The environment is so, the name of church is so nasty. Then the secular schools have so much facilities but no values. You can be in the school and misbehave anyhow as far as your father has money. So I now married the two. I, I said, okay, establish a school with so much values and so much standard. So I stood above the two. So curiosity. Do you, know, do you know, as I'm talking to you now, for our next section, children are coming from UK, from US, to come here. That they, are, they are taking their children now. To, because of Okma, a pastor is, is listening. A pastor said his child will never school in the UK. Boy born in Britain, not the one they were about here, they carry there. He, that, this boy was born there, he's a British citizen. He said, no way, that when he saw the kind of school, he said, he saw more school in Nigeria. He has a church in UK. He's a British citizen himself. He said, no, that Okma is in a different class. That because he doesn't want a boy who cannot talk about Jesus and the way the schools are going. Do you understand now? From curiosity, I've done my only two way, you to do your own. You understand? We will soon start university. I won't tell you that one because if I tell you, you will know the blueprint. When we start university, watch if they will not bring children from overseas to school here. There's something I have, I won't bring it out now, it's not time yet. You don't bring out your blueprint. If I sell it now, somebody will catch it. It's a different one. You know, one I said, Okma, one I said, Okma. If I tell somebody something, I can't share with you. Okma to tomorrow. It's not man's idea, it's from curiosity, God gave me the inspiration. There are things that you know about transformation center. True? Nowhere in the world is it done. Not nowhere in the whole world. We are the first to do it. That's what I wrote in the book so that if you, have, if you want to take it now, you copyright. Pastor Matthew said, put it in the book. And that pastor here, Pastor Pastor says, I put it in the book. If you don't put it in the book, tomorrow someone says his own idea. No mortal man on earth has done it. Creative people are very curious. They're very what? Okay, how did I come about transformation center? By curiosity. I sat like this. I said, every child that misbehaves, even in school where we attended, they will suspend you. Once a child misbehaves, you are suspended. Any, whether it's a church school or not, you will be suspended. Including the ones who went to church schools. Two, suspend you. Some they expel you. So I said, okay, why, what is the reason for admission schools? If they have to expel them like other people. People bring children to mission schools so they can be transformed. True? And then the boy misbehaved. Yes, he misbehaved. He's a bully. You now suspend him. Where will he be corrected? So the Holy Ghost said to me, set a transformation center where outside academics, they will go and hear the word. Because without the word, nobody can change. The best form of transformation is through the word, not through flogging. You don't flog a child to change. A child changes with the word. The rod is the word. You can tell the child now, say, I'll beat you. That temporarily the person will be afraid. As you leave, the person will become hardened. That's why you send people to prison, they become tougher. 
If they steal small, if they use a steal phone, after prison, they'll carry on. <laughs> now, all, so if you should be curious, why are people jack buying? Be curious, be what? Now, this boy is from curiosity. He knew that everybody wants overseas product, so he produced overseas quality in Nigeria. He's a multi millionaire. So, you two, be curious. Why are they buying foreign products? Then produce the foreign standard in Nigeria. Say here. Don't produce in Nigeria and put made in Italy. <laughs> My pastor is laughing, he's from Italy. You know, put made in. Then when they see, they say, You mean this is produced in Nigeria? They might patronize you. May your brain come alive. Yeah. Well, where am I? E. Am I correct? Associate with great thinkers. Associate with the what? Great thinkers. Iron sharpened. Don't work with the dummy. Don't work with the what? Please. I have noticed that association is powerful. Association is what? Very powerful. If you work with somebody who has not in the head, not to be in your head, just watch your attitude. It will, it, will, it will have a reflection of somebody close to you. Knowing your own. And there are too many stupid people in the world. Too many what? Who have nothing to improve your mental capacity. Everything they converse with you is canon. What today will go back to you? That baby, eh? But we'll chop on you. There's nothing about mental productiveness. Nothing. Everything is nonsense. Is what? Iron sharpened iron. Wood will never. Now let me say this. Do you know if your dream is 16 by 20 and you associate with somebody who has a dream of 2 by 4, he will bring you down to 2 by 4. Anything you keep talking will predominantly affect your mind. Just now, let somebody get up everyone and say, oh boy, that babe. Tomorrow, that babe. Next day, that babe. When you wake up the next day, the first thing occurs to your mind, that babe. <laughs> and people predominantly say what is in their mind. When your mind is upgraded, you have no time for carnal talks. So every association will either build you or mar you. There are four things. Association will either add, multiply, subtract, or minus from your life. May every wrong association, God deliver you from such. Yeah. I'm associated with Oyedepo. You know why? Because he's a sharp thinker. He's a what? Stop associating with idiots. With what? There are too many idiots. Too many what? There are too many idiots. May you never follow such persons. Yeah. There are Proverbs 27 verse 17. Where are Proverbs 27 verse 17? F. Current information. Current what? Current. Information must be current. Because you can have information that is obsolete. This book of law shall not be bad out of the mind. Joshua 1 8 and Daniel 9 2. If you want to develop your current what? Information. If I am reading about how they use radio ground, is it, you know how many of you know radio ground? Have you ever seen radio ground? How many of you have seen radio ground before? The younger generation don't know radio ground? Okay. There's, there's a kind of radio, it has four legs. When we are small, my father had one. The turntable is inside the box. So they will open the box like this. Everyone who is a bit rich here will have it. Then they will carry the turntable and put on the speaker. Then you close it. The speakers are down. If your father does not have it, it's not. He's a poor man. <laughs> then after that time, they brought one. 
that you whine and whine and whine. They use nail. Whine, 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 whine. You're not carrying this. Whine, 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 whine. You whine, whine, whine. Let me play, play music. You don't know that. You don't need that one. Now, if I go and read about that one, <laughs> I'm going to tell you. The, it's information, but information is what? Obsolete. It's what? Obsolete. It can imagine me coming to tell you now about something that happened in 1974. He said the kind of instrument they used to use, 1974. You fold your hand. Say in this computer age, this man is still talking about typewriter. <laughs> Look at the ground. This is the ground. Look at it. This side, this side is. If your father has this one, he's a very rich man. <laughs> this side is. This is the ground. I'm sure some of you have seen that as mature material. <laughs> do you know before? If you go to school, you must do typewriter. You must do, they call it pythology. They use typewriter. I'm not if you know typewriter. No typewriter. Then you now do shorthand. The person will be talking to you like this, I'll be doing like this. They take hand and do like Now, today, if you try that today, the whole office. <laughs> it can imagine me coming to lecture you in church now. I say, Tapraida. He said, Papa, Papa, I lost now. <laughs> in the computer age. I'm not, not talk typewriter. So the information should be current. So what? Current information. Finally, G. Prayer of inquiry. Prayer of what? Inquiry. Isaiah 42, verse 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Pray. If you want to be creative, pray, do pray of what? Inquiry. Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Pray of, pray of what? Inquiry. Then God will begin to. Let me caution you like this before I run off. To be creative, avoid words like, it cannot be done. Such words should be avoided. Nobody has succeeded in doing it. You cannot make it. We have had that before. Such words, they kill creativity. They are creativity killers. What you're talking, it has never happened before. Nobody has done it. It cannot be done. Have you had such before? No, no. Let me say this to you. When you are creative, A, you remain relevant. You remain what? When you're creative, you remain relevant. B, you become wealthy. Creative people are very wealthy. C, you enjoy promotion like Joseph. Creative persons are very, you can't be stagnated. No matter who hates you, you'll be promoted. D, nobody can stop you like Isaac. Even if they hate you, you keep making progress. Genesis 26. Finally, E, you will experience continuous progress and exploits. Am I too fast? You got it? I say, A, you remain relevant. B, you become wealthy. C, you enjoy promotion like Joseph. D, nobody can stop you like Isaac in Genesis 26. E, you will experience continuous progress and exploits.